as Imperial Music Director. That Strauss, I assure you, will not only put an end to the rivalry, but also to your career. There may be something else you could do, Excellency. No, what? Separate the combatants. Separate them? How? I want you to have something to remind you of me. I wonder whose idea this was. I could have said no. No, you couldn't. It was an imperial command. Yes, but given by my father. No, too clever for your father. More like Hirsch. It's an old story. Somebody gets troublesome, put him in a uniform, and give him orders which he's duty bound to obey. Cultural mission on behalf of the Emperor. What could be more flattering? <laughs> they could send you wherever they like. To the Sahara Desert. Or in our case, bloody Romania. I'd like to see the console now, please. Sir! to present my credentials. Strauss, eh? Father or son? Son. Hmm. Got rid of you, have they? I am here as His Imperial Majesty's cultural ambassador. Yes, they got rid of you. Nobody sent here as an honor. Oh, yes, we keep in touch with all the world-shattering events in Vienna. Don't you worry. I know a lot about you, Mr. Strauss. Bit of a troublemaker. Sir, I'm not here to make trouble. Glad to hear it. I've been sent to bring the culture of Austria to the remotest parts of the Empire. You've come to the right place. But I was assured you would give us every assistance. We should, of course, prefer to play in the palaces of the nobility. What nobility? What palaces? <laughs> You'll be lucky if you get to play before peasants in a barn. The audience is over, Mr. Strauss, or Master Strauss, whichever you prefer.
Drink for the maestro. Very moving. Thank you. Nothing moves me like music. It stirs memories. I remember when this hotel was the pride of the Western world. You don't look old enough. I remember when there were more servants than guests. I used to change my shirt three times a day. And the women. Oh, oh, oh my dear gloves. The women, all types, all ages. You said to flick your fingers and everything would be arranged. They're not expensive, not at all. Nowadays the girls are spoiled. <laughs> the prices have gone sky high. No one can afford a little fun anymore. Except apparently the consul. Oh, he never pays. He's a pig. He rapes. Completely corrupt, completely unscrupulous. No wonder the peasants are revolting. They are savages. Totally unimportant. They like a woman for every time they've started a revolution. I'd be a skeleton of my former self. <laughs> oh, no, they are useless people. Mr. Strauss? Maestro? Maestro, my wife has a favor to ask. Mr. Strauss, I have a favor to ask. My wife and I really do appreciate your presence here. I'm glad somebody does. We love dancing, and we are so very pleased you are here. I was for Lana. She supported your father. I was devoted to your father. My husband supported Lana. You must forgive her. She's very deaf. Ah. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I heard. I loved your father's music and such a nice dancer. We have not been back to Vienna for many years. Would it be possible for you to demonstrate the latest wall steps for us? I, I never waltz. What did you say? He says he doesn't waltz. It's hell dancing with her. She can't hear the music. <laughs> <laughs> Just for your information, the consul has fled. What? Surely not. Early this morning, burned all his papers and disappeared with the money. What money? The bribes. He had only two interests in life, money and rape. But why has he fled now? Ever since we've been here, nearly six months, everywhere we go, there's firing every day, gangs in the street, a few people killed. As I've said, they're always having a revolution. So why is the consul fled now? Who can say? Perhaps he knows something we don't. He was always of a nervous disposition. You know him well. He was my deputy when I was consul. <laughs> <laughs>